did you watch any Peacemaker? Yes, I'm caught up. Oh no, I haven't seen the most recent episode, the one that came out like midnight last night, or like you know. Oh well, morning. then I'm not uh, caught up. I thought. Yeah, I neither of. Yeah, I'm yeah. not caught up with that one. All right, what do you think of Peacemaker? I like Peacemaker a lot. I didn't know what it was going to be. And and oh, by the way, Kyle, to your credit, Kyle has told us about Peacemaker. He sells it, right? And Kyle has an, a special knack for this. And uh, for example, he's telling you about the character. You sort of want to know who he is and the nature of the show. He says he's looking at his x-ray and he says, man, can you like increase the contrast? I look like a guy that doesn't <laughs> that only focuses on bulk. And I spend a lot of time on my smaller muscle groups. That happens like six minutes. It, 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 <laughs> Kyle gave no spoilers yet, pulled me into the show. <laughs> um, and then and, and I, I was just watching, I was like, man, like this is the thing Kyle said. This is the thing Kyle, I've hit all Kyle's notes, and I'm only 12 minutes in this show so far. It, like, it really well done. Uh, Peacemaker is a blast. They hit genuine comedy. I'm genuinely intrigued as to where it's going. Um, I'm thinking before I talk. They unveil who the um, antagonist. What's the opposite of protagonist? Antagonist. 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 Yeah. They unveil who the antagonist is slowly. You know, the little clues drop, and I'm sucked into uh, you know what this is going to be and who they are and and what we're going to learn about this uh, the, this enemy. And uh, um, yeah, I did that well. I didn't, I didn't spoil shit right there. <laughs> no, yeah, nailed it, nailed it. So, uh, so what I'm saying is I'm genuinely pulled into the core plot line. I also enjoy the silliness that sits on top of it the, in, in the, the writing style and the character and this and that. And if you like seeing naked women, there's good sex here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I agree with all of that. I, uh, everyone that has reported back to me has agreed. They, they also liked it. Uh, it's, um, it's that James Gunn style of humor with an R rating. And that tur it turns out that's pretty good even if you don't give a fuck about the characters. <clears throat> so anybody who's like turned off by the superhero shit, like you don't need to watch anything else. You can just watch this. Cause like, this is a standalone thing where superheroes are less important to the plot than anything you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like they're, they, they, they're like openly mocking Aquaman and Batman. Yes. There's a, there's a part where like, so like peacemaker is this like, c tier superhero at best most people consider him a c tier super villain or maybe something in between they're like aren't you that racist super villain it's like no no i <laughs> get... <sighs> he's got like he's con he's always concerned about his pr like, like right. I mean, he just got out of prison you uh -huh. know for for god knows what and uh he's so he's kind of bad bad mouthing like the real superheroes they'll be like do you have a coterie of of uh of supervillains they're like no i don't have one batman does <laughs> you know he's got like the joker and the riddler and this guy and that guy he's, he's like let me tell you about batman he's just a weak little punk okay and if he had the balls to kill some of those fucks they wouldn't be getting out and murdering people all the time you ever think about that and aquaman let me tell you a guy at the aquarium told me he slips him 50 bucks to come in there and fuck the fish. <laughs> he he, yeah, he made a good point fucker. about Batman. He, I was, I was giving you time. He's like, how many people, how many people do you think that Batman has indirectly killed by not killing the Joker and not killing the Riddler or whatever? Yeah. Thousands of people are dead because he doesn't have the balls. And I'm like, Is he that's, Batman? that's so true. Like yeah. Batman, Batman's a pussy. He really is a pussy. He's afraid of bats, first of all, because of what? One one did a, fl a low flyby at one point. Is that, is that the story? <laughs> our, our, is that the lore? about mocking my hey, favorite I don't know girl. anything about Batman, and I'm going off. <laughs> <laughs> Batman, he's a pussy. He's a bitch. He never kills his foes. It's he can't solve riddles fast enough to... to like, who are his big guys? I'm not the even Joker. sure he's afraid of bats. <laughs> no, that that's true? why that, that's his thing. He's like, I, I name myself after what I'm afraid of. Bats. And now he they can share in, in my fear. He took his own fear and he weaponized it against those wow. who use feared as their as their tactic against the weak. I'm gonna it's be... me, leukemia man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you I'm terrified you're gonna... of blood cancers. Uh, I, I'm like, it's Halloween. I'm gonna be chilly, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, Peacemaker's great. Um, he's got like a cool sidekick who's basically Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, he's got, um, a big fat black woman friend who's really funny and great. Love her character. Um, 
she's even a lesbian too so she's checking like so many boxes it's woke as fuck and uh there's this character called the judo master <laughs> who's, who's like this tiny little asian man in like a green suit and he's just like he's just like you know he is what imagine the judo master yep you got it he's going Kia! and yeah. like 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 beating people up and is he a hero clips. or is he just very good very good at judo it doesn't matter if he's a hero or a villain. It, it really doesn't matter what anyone is. They're just uh, people um, dressed sillily, and, uh, and and they're fighting it out to, to the death, mostly. 